All right, this is for uh, removing the heat shield on the the uh, CPU on the PS3 motherboard um, using one of these. I got this at Lowe's. It was about three bucks, and it works real good for removing the the CPU off of here or the heat shield off of the uh, CPU you basically you take it and you press it down like this and you want to press with your thumb down because these razor blades <clears throat> they flex and because they flex that allows it to get more in line with the ch with the chip so that you don't cut uh the actual chip instead you only cut the the uh the glue that holds the comp or the the heat shield on um and basically I can't really hold the camera and do it at the same time but I'll set the camera down and then I'll do one <clears throat> side of it and uh, basically you push it in and then the side of uh, the plastic right there um, there it's in focus now the plastic keeps it from going all the way in and damaging the die inside there the core um, so I'll push it in and I'll show you just a second <clears throat> So I've got it pushed in and you want to kind of give it a rocking motion. It takes a little bit of force but you want to kind of rock it back and forth like that and then that'll cut through and you do it on three sides. Um, <clears throat> it's harder to get it in there because of these uh, the chips here. It's hard to get it in there because of those. So do the th these three sides and that will allow you to get on this side and pry it back like that and then that will peel off this side and then you can change the compound. I've got one already that I did uh, <clears throat> somewhere in just a second. Right there, <clears throat> uh, it comes off fairly nice. Uh, no damage on the the CPU, um, and then it just peels. And then there's the thermal compound right there. That stuff goes bad. I don't know if there's any info about this out there, but the RSX the 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 compound under there you can see wipes right off wipes off and then here's the CPU compound same way comes right off see that so if you ever had a PS3 that's overheating and you've changed the compound under here the RSX and it's still overheating there's a good chance that you need to do the CPU too and it's much harder to change um, but this method right here is um, probably the easiest so far with that I've come up with with those kinds of razor blades right there because they flex and you can get it in line with the with the uh, chip so you don't cut the chip and there's stoppers on here the pieces of plastic keep the blade from going all the way in and damaging the die so um, 
Let me work this thing a little more here, just a second. I'll do the other sides, just a second. Okay, now <clears throat> once you do the three sides, you want to take just a second again. <clears throat> and go under with a razor like that <clears throat> and then you can take a screwdriver and get under it <clears throat> There, the glue is letting go now. <clears throat> I put the razor blade under there to keep the chip from getting damaged. Um, <clears throat> but basically, it's not going to work unless you get the razor blade and cut the glue off enough. <clears throat> uh, cut enough of the glue off uh, underneath. So I've got the majority of it. And that's it. There it is. And I got the heat shield in my hand. And then there's the uh, CPU. <clears throat> so that's it. Um, one thing you can do if uh, you're having trouble <clears throat> cutting all the way through this side. Hold on, get it in focus. This, this side of the CPU, if you're having trouble cutting all the way through the glue on any side, as a matter of fact, if you're having trouble getting it cut through all the way because of the plastic uh, pieces on the razor uh, scraper here, stopping it from going in any further, uh, you should take the blade out and you can grind it down a little bit on a grinder and that'll give you a little more room to get the blade in there further so that it cuts all the way through the glue and that way when it comes down you cut these three sides and then you can peel the lid back much easier you may not even need a screwdriver uh, you could probably just get under it with your fingernail and boom pop it right off anyway that's one of the best ways I've discovered so far. Be careful, the razor blades are, are not dull, they're very sharp, so be careful. Do not slip. You can cut yourself or you can damage the board, so be very careful. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.